I'm now in a place where I've got enriched companies, I've got enriched contacts, and I also have contact information. And so now what I want to do is use Clay to help me really personalize the outreach to these people, right? And a really cool way to do this um, is combining scraping the website plus using the GPT-3 integration. And so when I say scrape the website, what I'm going to do is use the scrape website uh, integration and input their websites. And you'll see what happens when I run this for all of the rows is it's going to literally scrape the entire page that I just put in, right? A huge body of text, okay? And to like craft, you know, a specific message by hand, just by reading this, it's gonna take a lot of time. But a very cool thing we can do is now use the complete prompt integration. And the prompt I'm gonna write is, uh, I basically want GPT-3 to help me um, write a hook that is personalized to this company. All right, so this might look a little bit like this. I'm gonna go ahead and type in a prompt and show you what I did. All right, so I've written this quick prompt and I'm basically saying, hey, I'm writing an outbound email to this person about a service I'd like to offer them. I want your help filling in this sentence. I love that you dot, dot, dot. Please analyze the text I give you and replace the dot, dot, dot with what I like about their company. Here's the text to analyze. What I've given uh, as the text to analyze is I've gone to the scrape website. I've chosen just the description and you'll see the output is, oops, the output, let's map this to the table. And the results are like this. Hey, I love that you're transforming video security into video intelligence. Um, I love that you are taking video security to the next level. You know, we can refine this prompt even further. It's a little bit of a rough example, but let's say, um, make this one sentence, sentence uh, max. All right, so we can continue to run, refine this. Let's rerun that and let's see what comes out. I love that you are, oh, let's see. Refresh these. Love that you are turning, okay, still a little bit long. So let's go ahead and refine that again. Um, make this one sentence max and very concise. Let's see if that does a better job. Rerun it. There we go. A little bit shorter. Great. Great. Cool. So now another thing we can do is if we don't want to use GPT-3, we've got some really awesome information about the company here, right? We have how much they raised. We have that they're using Hotjar. So let me show you just one more example, uh, which is Let's go ahead and create a new text column. And then instead of using GPT-3, let's use the AI formula generator. And let's say, um, you know, let me, let me write this really quick and I'll explain to you what I wrote. All right, so I'm gonna show you all the formula I've written really quick. Basically what I said is, I want the value to be, basically, I saw that X company name has raised over X amount, super impressive. And then if Hotjar was found, and if they've got Hotjar in their column, I want you to add, I see that a portion of that has gone to Hotjar. I've got a solution that provides double the value at half the cost. Are you open to chatting? If that company is not using Hotjar, I just want to write, I've got this analytics platform that can turn a tiny fraction of that into, uh, of that funding into actionable results for your team, open to chatting. And you'll see uh, where Hotjar was found. The value is, I saw that Spot AI has raised over 62 million, super impressive portion has gone to Hotjar. I've got a solution that's uh, half the cost. Are you open to chatting? So for now, I'm going to say output is correct. But what I do not love about this is this looks super weird, right? It shouldn't say 62000, like it's not a dollar value. And so what I'm going to do is, again, use the AI formula generator. Let me make a new column really quick. And what I want to do is reformat um, this funding amount. 
So I've got this total company funded amount here and super simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, take company funded amount and let's see where that funded search for it. There we go. And replace that with M. Okay. And this will turn it into this should turn it. Uh, okay. Uh, and here's the issue, right? So co total company funded is currently a number. And so we are unable to add letters to that. So I'm going to say take total company funded amount. And then I'm going to say turn that into text and then replace, right? So we just got to make sure that the amount is correct. And there we go. It is. Um, and so now, okay, it's working for some, but not quite for all. Also, starting from the right, add a comma between every group of three characters. Little uh, work around right away for us to get to here. Cool. And then the last thing we're going to do finally put a dollar sign in front. All right. Now this looks a little bit cleaner. Let's double check. And it looks like, okay, we've got some errors here. So, you know what? Let's start fresh. This is, I think, a cool example, but I'm going to make an example that I think is going to be a little bit better. All right. Way, way simpler. Uh, all I'm saying here is tearing company total fund amount into USD. That is really all I needed to do. I'll put this correct say formula. And now we've got reformatted raise amount. Cool. Uh, so as you can see, like when working with the AI formula generator, there's definitely some uh, just like prompt editing you'll need to do to get kind of the perfect value. Sometimes it takes a little bit of back and forth. Uh, if you learn anything from this video, it is try to not overcomplicate it. Uh, but now I'm going to go back into this AI formula generator and just replace this with reformatted raise amount. Regenerate this text. Okay. And now let's just take a quick look, right? So if a company has Hotjar, hey, I saw you raised over 60 million. Fortunately, that's going to Hotjar. I've got a solution. If not, it doesn't include that text. So this I'm going to call our merge field. This is just another example of how you can use ChatGPT or uh, just additional conditional formatting to then create a merge field. And what's really awesome is if you remember at the very beginning, all we had was a list of company websites. Now we've got fully enriched companies that can enter our CRM. We have fully enriched contacts that can enter our CRM, including their LinkedIn profile. And we even have a personalized merge field, which can go straight into our email uh, marketing tools. Uh, and this has brought us start to finish, right? We're just testing it with these first 20 rows. It takes a little bit of upfront work to create this template. But what I can do now is I can add hundreds, thousands to this and the entire template set up. And so this output is just going to generate and I can continue to scale this and it still be pretty personalized. Um, yeah, so I'll continue showing uh, some other really cool techniques in other videos, but definitely recommend giving this one a try. Uh, and if you have any questions, drop in our Slack community uh, or send us a message. Thanks.